Pokemon champs and trainers. I hope everybody's having a nice Christmas and holiday. For this video, I'm going to show you and explain how sandwich effects work in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Sandwich effects in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet give you a bigger boost in the game. Each sandwich you consume in the game gives you three different effects. Not only sandwiches, but other food in the game. If you want more information about the effects, I will be putting the link down in the description. I will also explain to you what each one works from the source I provided to you. Here is a picture of the effect. Catching power allows you to catch Pokemon easily. Item drop power gives you more Pokemon material after battle. Egg power gives you a higher chance in breeding Pokemon while you have breedable Pokemon with you in the picnic. Sparkling power helps you find a shiny Pokemon. Experience points power gives you more experience after the battle. Tidal power gives you a chance to find a Pokemon with marks. Raid power gives you more rewards from raids. Tensi power helps you encounter small Pokemon. And lastly, Humongo power helps you find large Pokemon. Now that we cover the effects, let's show you what they look like. Of course, not only do you buy sandwiches to have effects or make them, you can also go to restaurants or ice cream stands that can grant you effects too. As you can see, I'm showing you places where you can go and get the effects. Also, there are places where you can buy ingredients to make food too. There are many places to visit and different restaurants to go to to get the effects. However, let's focus on the sandwiches for now. As you can see, there are a lot of sandwiches to make at the picnic. Each effect that you are seeing from Places and sandwiches have a typing involved. The typing in the effect is the type of Pokemon that got boosted. Of course, with the sandwiches that are available here, there are some where you have to get them from the raids, like Herba, Mysticus. The only way you get them is to do Pokemon raids or Teta raids. They're normally hard to get, or very rare to get, but if you're lucky to get one, you can go ahead and, and get one. Now, of course, when it comes to getting Herba Mysticus, always go to a Sandwich Master or go to your mom and they'll provide you more unlockable recipes later in the game. So make sure you keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and give you an example of how the effects are used. I'm going to a sandwich place in Mesa Gosa. For the purpose of this video, I purchased a sandwich that grants me an encounter rate increase for fighting types. The Pokemon I was after is Rulu. Rulu in this game has a 10% chance to appear. However, with the sandwich, I have seen multiple Rulus. Now, for those who want to know where the Rulus are located, I'm going to go ahead and show you the location of where you can find more of them. Now, just keep in mind, while the sandwich is in effect, it will look like that there aren't any, but when you go to the area, you start to see one or two, and once you encounter them through the Pokemon Wild encounter, you're going to start seeing more around you. So, at least there's something that you can go and encounter more as you go. Now, if you want to see the effects kicking in, Press the right button of the D-pad or the button that looks like a cross, you will see that the effect is working. There are times I use the effect and sometimes you do not get lucky on the encounter rates of Pokemon. The effect of the food is very useful in this game and I highly recommend you take the advantage of it. If you are playing the game to complete your Pokedex, Food effects in the game are highly useful. When I was looking for a shark deck without any food effects, it took me time to where I never see them at all in my gameplay. Of course, when I did use a sandwich for a fire type encounter, 
They all suddenly appear as if they went from being rare to being common. It is the same concept for Rulu as a fighting type. Now, I hope you find all of this useful. I hope for the best on your Pokemon journeys in the gameplay. If there's anything I miss, need to add, or another topic I need to cover, feel free to make a comment in the comment section below. Other than that, see you in the next video. Alright, if you enjoy watching and you want more videos, please subscribe and have the bell on. Every video I make is based on experience and experimenting. I wanted to make sure I share my gameplay with all of you and see if there's any feedback needed for future videos or if you are here to make everybody's day. Let's keep up the love and work together to build the Phil Kona. My plan for 2023 is to make this community stronger and I wanted to do a lot of interactions with all of you. Let me know what I can do. My goals are to have events and play with some of you. We can have giveaways like for both copies of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games, Pokemon TCG, Temtem, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Super CCG, or other games in the future. These are only ideas, but if we can get uh, 30 of you in Discord and 100 subs in YouTube, I can start making plans for the giveaway. The event will happen live on Twitch, so make sure to mark your calendars when it happens. If anybody is interested and wants to keep your eyes and ears open, please take the time to read the description below or in the comment section. Links will be provided so that you will know what is going on.